Creatly Tutorial 2021 for Beginners. Hi guys, today I'm telling you how to use Creatly step by step as a beginner. So let's get started. Now, first you have to do is just go to creatly.com and sign up for free. There are different plans available, but I have logged into the free version because there is available. What you have to do is just simply sign up with your Google account or your Gmail address, and then you will land on this dashboard of Creatly. So now we will create some awesome flowchart or educational or business flowcharts or uh, presentations whatever you want to create you can create on Creately as you know the name suggests itself so let's get started without wasting any time so you can see that I can actually create a new workspace right here where I can actually you know add different things that I have already created. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select any of these templates. You can actually select any of the templates that, you know, matches your um, requirements that you are looking for. If you're looking for a flowchart, mind map, or orgy chat or you know database chat you will simply click on any of this so for now i think i'm gonna go with the mind map and use this one so quickly actually gives you all of these different templates that you can actually avail and it makes your work easier so this is the you know page of creatly this is your workspace and i'm just gonna you know quickly change the name of my workspace and call it my workspace you can name it anything this there you go so you can see right here that this is my template which is out of place so when you have to you know move anything what you will do is you can simply click right here and then you can simply move it to the center this is how you move something on creately you will see this option right here so if i want to you know make it a little smaller because you know i am i want it to be a little smaller so i can get access and i can get a look of what's happening so what i will do is i will simply select on the select option and here i can just you know make it a little smaller there you go this is how you make something smaller on creatly i am actually you know doing the work and showing you around as well that this is how it actually works so i'm just gonna grab it again and put it in the center there you go now it looks good now i have access to all of the you know uh, template i can actually see that okay this is what the template will look like so here you will see all of these different options this is the option of folder template shapes add image google search and icons so what's gonna happen this is text line and this is the page add notes this is actually these are not available right now they will be coming soon so first of all you can see that how we can actually customize this template so this is the text option you will simply click right here and i can add any text i want to let's just say my topic is creately okay and i am making a mind map for this video so the first thing first i told you about the sign up process right the next thing is i will simply type here about the dashboard and then i can go with template there you go then i can simply add here the features so this is how uh, i'm actually you know typing random things but this is how you actually add text if you want to add subtopic text here so you will simply click right here and you'll be like this is a step by step tutorial so this is you know the random text i am adding but this is how you actually customize the text simply click on that and you will be able to customize it so let's go and add some of the elements into our mind map let me show you around how you can actually add different things into your work and make it more presentable and more creative so right now let's go to the option of shapes so here you see all of these different shapes if you want to select any of this you will simply click on that shape or you can just simply you know drag that right here so once you drag that shape uh, you can make it bigger or smaller if you want to add the text you will simply click in the middle and you will simply added the text let's just write maybe video so this is how i can you know go ahead and add any of the text if i'll just make it a little smaller and if i click on it you i can actually change the color for this i can go with pink right here and i can just move it in the middle maybe so this is how you add shape if i want to add another shape i will simply grab it and drop it right here once i do that now this shape will also be added and i can customize the color 
color. So this is how you actually add different shapes into your work. So what happens is you can see that these shapes when you are creating something, for example, a, a project for your school or a maybe a presentation for your work. This is how creatively, you know, gives you all of these different cool options where you can add these different shapes and they actually help you get your presentation or your project more creative. So this is how you add different shapes. If I go to the templates, here you will actually see different templates. If I want to add another template into this mind map, I can just simply, you know, go ahead and use that as well. So this is where you actually see the templates. If I go to templates again, um, let me just show you that. Okay, so you can see that here is an option of popular tools, brainstorm ideas. These are different templates for you that you can actually choose from and once you have your template selected then you can do the work you saw that i selected this mind map so after that there was an option of shapes of course and then there is image option where i can actually import image from my device so i will simply click on import image and i can actually browse that image from my computer so i will simply click on browse let's go to pictures and saved pictures and okay let's grab this image so let's just say it was was my English literature assignment and I have to write about the different revolutions and I had to add this image. So I can, you know, simply go ahead and place this image wherever I want to on my, you know, project. It's actually a big page so you can actually grab anything and drop it right here. So you can see that this is how you can add image. If you want to edit that image, you can simply go ahead and do that as well. If you want to move it, you will simply click on that and move it to wherever you want to place it so this is how you import any image and you can do that then there's an option of google search so this is a good thing about creatively that you can actually search on google for anything for any concept for any idea you're working on your workspace and it's a good thing that you get access to google right here you don't have to go over and over again to you know to google when we are working we go to the google and search for different things so you can you know you don't have to do it and you can just simply go ahead and search search it right here and it will open it up for you so that's a very very good feature of creately after that um you can see right here that there is an option of icons here you can see all of these different icons that are for example like subjects or objects that you can integrate into your workspace if you want to for example add a girl you will simply you know grab her and drop her right here if you want to add any person if you want to add any object for example you want to add a blackboard you will simply grab it and drop it right here if you want to add any other icon you want to add computer maybe let's go with this one and you will simply you know add these icons that actually you know make your presentation much much better so these are all different options that you can actually avail on creatively so if i just you know click right here and click on the dashboard and send it back there you go so now this is where i actually you know took like a bunch of items right here so now i'm just gonna organize them a bit so you can get an idea that how this actually looks let's just grab her and put her right here so what's gonna happen is that i want her to be bring to front this is how you actually you know bring something to front or bring to to forward send to back send backwards so i want to bring her and now she is on the front and if i want to delete any image i will simply click on the image and i can delete it if i want to add a text you simply click on these three dots and bring anything to front to back and send backwards or whatever you want to do if you wanted to make it smaller you will simply click on that and make it a bit smaller after that you see all of these different options right here for example information shape data and comments these options are actually you know they actually don't matter that much but if you go to history right here you will be able to see the history of your workspace and you will be able to see different comments and shape data for your workspace so that's how you know you actually get an idea how your workspace works on creatively after that you can see that this is how you know you add anything if i just want to grab it i can just put it right here so if you want to zoom in you will simply click on this add button if you want to zoom out you will simply click right here after that there's an option of this keyboard 
So this keyboard actually gives you all of these shortcuts for how to use it. So basically that's it. You simply, you know, zoom in, zoom out, and all of these features are given right here. And it's super easy to use and it gives you an opportunity to create awesome and creative presentations and projects for your business as well as for your educational needs. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you will be able to create awesome projects of your own on Creately. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.